Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about Zin. They're a flavored nicotine pouch that you put in your mouth similar to chewing tobacco. Except the difference is Zin is tobacco free. But does that mean they're good? Well that's what we're going to look at. I'm sure if you're on YouTube a lot you've already heard of these. Many podcasters and streamers have been using them and talking about them. I have a clip here from the Impulsive podcast where Burt Kreischer talks about Zin. Anything. For real? So California just banned flavored anything. Fuck. Yeah. So anything you guys with zin? flavors. You guys zin? What? Zin? No. Nope. Is that like oh, a you guys seem like you told vitamin me. or zin. mineral or something? Oh no, it's like everyone zins. What? Oh, sins. Oh. Is it the thing. The <laughs> oh, dips. Yeah, it's a pouch. Dips? Uh -huh. No, no, it's this thing called zin. Every dude, every bro I know zins. I never met a zin, bro, in my life. Either. Oh my god, that's all Where I'm. Where are these bros? These are the same. In the kind NFL. Of Oh yeah, There's a lot of it was it was at the at the Super Bowl. They were everyone was like, "Yo, you got a Zen? You got a four milligram?" I actually watched a video the other day talking about how popular these things are in professional sports, and apparently almost everybody uses them. So that clip at least gives you guys a good idea of what Zins are. Now I found this other video talking about Zins. That's actually a Canadian video, and this video had some really good points that I wanted to talk about. Also, this video is amazing, so definitely go check out Gavin Barry and subscribe to his channel and watch this full video. It simply boggles the mind that Health Canada has made it legal for flavored nicotine products from Imperial Tobacco to be sold to children. Four milligrams of nicotine, the equivalent of smoking several cigarettes. But it doesn't fall under tobacco or vape laws. Experts say that the move means children of any age can buy the product. There are no... And this is already where I kind of had a problem with the product as soon as I saw it. When all these creators are talking about it and using it, who do you think is going to see this and want to try it? It's younger people. It reminds me of a lot of these crazes amongst young kids like Prime Energy or vaping. It's something you participate in just to be part of the group. My other problem is, what if all kinds of kids and other people start doing these Zins or Zonix is the brand they have here in Canada? What if people get addicted to these? and then these get banned or go away. Then they're gonna have to switch over to cigarettes or something else. A lot of them might quit, but I bet you a lot of people, if Zins went away, would switch over to chewing tobacco or cigarettes, or a vape possibly. This is an addiction that if you could just avoid it outright, that'd be better. Restrictions on how it's advertised or sold. Nicotine pouches just hit Canada last month, now available in gas stations and convenience stores, claiming they're to be used as a replacement to quit smoking. However, my sus alarm was raised to these fruity sandbags looking like vape addiction all over again. It's the new trend for young adults, and it's making the mainstream media quite concerned. That if you have to be 19 to buy vapes and cigarettes, why is Zin getting any special treatment? But my question remain are these things actually targeted towards children how many people are actually using them and how did this law come to be to begin with so making any kind of nicotine product flavored is always a very slippery slope i know california has recently banned flavored tobacco stuff and canada has banned flavored tobacco products for a long time you can't buy menthol cigarettes here or any kind of flavored cigarette and at first i didn't really understand why because I was like, oh, I used to smoke those sometimes in high school. And then I realized that probably is the answer. That's why they ban them. Because younger kids end up smoking these and using this stuff. Especially when it's flavored. I mean, look at vapes. Hey, do you guys got those, uh, the nicotine pouches? Yeah. You do have them? Yeah. Do you have them in stock? Yeah. What do you think about those things? Those are nice. Like, they uh, take out the nicotine. Can you come inside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that guy's just straight mad dog and look at him. Because they come with like three different flavors. Oh, okay, so these, yeah. these are right here. Yeah, these are the ones. There's the berry frost, tropical breeze, and there's the chill mints. Well, you are, when you're putting them on the mouth, yeah. they just like they will take one hour. Till one hour, they will release that flavor in your mouth. It's so oh, really? You're keeping it for like over yeah, an hour? Like you can. Like this is apparently supposed to be a product to help people quit smoking. But how often do you see creators and podcasters promoting like nicotine gum? Being like, oh, I love this nicotine gum. Like, who would tell someone to start chewing nicotine gum if they didn't have to? I feel it's the same thing with these. Like, if, if you're not trying to quit smoking, you should not use these. Okay. It does. Do you think I, it's a good replacement to quit smoking? Yeah, it is. Like, it, it is. <laughs> do, do you think it's, like, dangerous for, like, like younger kids, like, like high school kids and stuff to get addicted to? Oh, uh, well, uh, you know, that everything... It needs to be like there is a, some. Yeah. It's like a law in Canada. You don't have to be a certain age to buy those. 
Uh, for those... Like, think about it from the tobacco company's perspective. If they can get people to start doing zins at, as a teenager, they're probably much more likely to end up smoking or vaping or doing chewing tobacco, which obviously makes them money. Is their motive really to help people quit? Or is it to help get people started? I wanted to show you that clip to highlight some of the problems with this and it kind of aligned with some of the points that I had. I think one of the problems with Zinn is today's culture. Everyone needs to be taking something all the time. An energy drink, alpha brain, smoking cigarettes or other things. Everyone's always trying to take the edge off some way or another. I'm just worried with so many big people promoting these that they're going to become a problem. I also watched a video from the channel Podcast Cringe talking about the fact that some of these creators could be sponsored. They sure talk about it and bring it up a whole lot. And if they are being sponsored, then advertising nicotine products is a really slippery slope. Watch this clip here and tell me like this doesn't sound like an advertisement. I had a sincere problem with uh, tobacco, with chewing tobacco. Oh, really? I had a sincere problem with uh, tobacco, with chewing tobacco. Oh, really? Oh, sincere. Like, like meaning like I had to quit. Like uh, you're like a red man guy. Re I was red man. I was Copenhagen. I was Skull. I was like every now and then I'll throw in a black buffalo on the road. Yeah, because it because have this black buffalo zero. I'll throw one in if we're all sitting around outside. What's beautiful about those? You can drink while you have one in, so you can spit. It's really nice. Yeah, but I've been flirting with these the same way. <laughs> Do you ever see a celebrity cheat like, on his wife and you're like, plugs. we saw that coming? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, by the way, I'm not fucking Taryn Manning internet, okay? Uh, these I've been flirting with. I buy them all the well, time. You don't and take I've, them? I've never even opened them. Do one. I don't, I'm nervous because I'm afraid I'm back. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. What? And I, this is the only time you can actually say this. There's no tobacco. These are tobacco free. This is straight nicotine. Put your nail in there. Straight nicotine. Maybe this is the Lord saying something. Here. I can't open yours. It's just it's just nicotine. So you 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 get like the here. Wow, that came out quick. You get the the you know, the nicotine fix. I feel like more focused. You know, it's it's a little it's a little stimulant. It's better than speed. That's what the doc said. It is? He goes, you're not going to do speed, right? And I go, probably not. Will you talk to your doctor about that? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm no, sweating. I, I, I'm I, sweating right now. I tried to get uh, that Vyvanse, you know? That's like, I guess they said, someone told me it was like diet Adderall. He's like, it is like, it's like Adderall plus. <laughs> Dude, Adderall <laughs> so fucking good. I know. Have you ever and talked to someone on Adderall and they try to tell you you're so, there's so many people these days are on Adderall, or there's like a million different names for different brands of Adderall and drugs very similar to Adderall that all these creators take, like in podcasters and stuff. Like you'd really be surprised by how many people get this stuff prescribed so they can just stay up for ridiculous amounts of time. You're sober and you're yeah. like, you're not you're sober, not bro. Sober. No, but so this Let is it's a stimulant. Now these are these are sweeter than those. Okay. Ooh, oh. So just you, throw it in, dude. I mean, this is like... There's no spitting. Really? There's there's no tobacco. There's no cancer-causing chemical. <laughs> Hold on. So you're telling me this People is... People are thinking this is an organic plug. We are not associated with either one of these. We're not associated We're just, with either of these. I'm just trying to get people on nicotine, man. I heard it's better for your brain. Yeah. I saw Huberman no, tell you right here. Yeah. Huberman you, said right now, nicotine. if he was a young boy, yeah. he would get addicted to nicotine today. Well, or something like that. I forget what this he said. Is, he, well, let's just say, he probably didn't say exactly. But right, ready? it's a great pre-workout. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm serious. I'm going to put the head of my dick in okay. and see if I want to keep fucking. There you go. I'm going to put it in. Put it in, dude. Like You should not start taking nicotine for a pre-workout if you can avoid it. Like I said, this stuff can be hard to quit, especially if you have an addictive personality. You're on board. You're going to love it. Let's see if I feel no, no. The, let's see if I feel the jazz. You're, gonna, you're you're in. I can already tell. I know. You don't need to spit. No, there's no tobacco. I'll tell you. I also found this really good video by Addiction Mindset talking about some of the side effects of nicotine poisoning, and this is happening to a lot of people using Zin because they're smoking and also using Zins all day every day. In today's video, I want to take a moment and talk to you guys about the symptoms and the stages of nicotine poisoning and nicotine overdose 
as someone who struggled for several years with nicotine addiction to chewing tobacco products, nicotine salt products, Nicorette gum products, uh, which is pharmaceutical grade nicotine, and then of course vape products, I think this is something that's happening a lot more frequently than we realize. And it's something that's probably going grossly overlooked day to day. And looking- There's probably a lot of people that end up suffering from this nicotine poisoning, but don't even know what it is. And with the rise in products like Zin and disposable vapes, which are predominantly nicotine salts, which absorb into your system faster and then exit your system at a faster rate than say freebase nicotine, which you find in traditional tobacco. I had no idea there was different kinds of nicotine. What it does is it leads to an increased tolerance and a more frequent use of the product like Zen or on pouches or disposable vape because your body's entering a state of withdrawal at a much faster rate due to the increased absorption and the increased excretion of uh, essentially, you know, big tobacco. I understand it's not a tobacco product, but remember, big tobacco does now own uh, Zen. It used to be Swedish Match, but it got sold off. So stage two of uh, nicotine poisoning, which can last up to 30 minutes to four hours, uh, diarrhea, shallow breathing, decreased heart rate, decreased blood pressure, lethargy, feeling weak, slowed reflexes, and an inability to control muscles, and potentially even seizures. I keep seeing seizures pop up again and again. I really wanted to show this video because I know there's a lot of people out there pushing this idea of, well, Zins are tobacco free, therefore they're safe. But as you can see, there's still a lot of negative side effects to just pure nicotine, and especially this salt nicotine that he's talking about, which apparently exits your system faster and causes you to use nicotine more often. Long story short, I would just be careful with these Zins. If you're a smoker looking to quit, they could be a good alternative. But if you don't already smoke and you don't have an addiction to nicotine, I would just avoid it. We do know for a fact that nicotine can lead to changes in the brain if you're still developing. So it's absolutely not good for anyone under the age of 18 or 19, even if there is no tobacco. And the fact that these things are so popular amongst the younger generation does kind of make them a bit of a danger. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you next time.